In this video, we're learning how to do integration with inverse trig with USUBs. First thing we want to do is we want to look at what might go inside of there. Well, to get the 4x squared, we would need to do 2x times 2x, or 2x squared. Inside function, u is 2x, du is 2dx. If I want to put a 2 there, I need a 1 half out in front. I have 1 half integral, 1 over root, 1 minus u squared du. That's going to be inverse sine, so I have 1 half inverse sine of 2x plus c. Let's do another example. So in my second example, I need to again look at what would go inside there. To get a 25x squared, I would need 5x times 5x. Inside function is then 5x du would be 5dx. So if I want to put a 5, I got a 1 fifth out front. 1 fifth integral negative 1 over root 1 minus u squared du. That would be inverse cosine. So I have 1 fifth inverse cosine of 5x plus c. Let's do another example. So in my third example, again, we're looking at what goes inside there. To make a 9x squared, I would need a 3x. So u is 3x, du is 3dx. If I want to put a 3 there, I need a 1 third out front. 1 third integral, 1 over 1 plus u squared du would be inverse tangent. 1 third inverse tangent of 3x plus c. One more example. In my last example, I'm looking at what's going to go inside there. And I have a hint out there, 7x times 7x. If u is 7x, du would be 7dx. If I want to put a 7, I have a 1 7th out front, 1 7th integral, 1 over absolute value. Now notice, u is 7x. So I'm going to replace that with a u, root, u squared minus 1 du. Well, that's inverse secant, so 1 4, or 1 7th, inverse secant 7x plus c.